G'day guys, I'm Ali and today I'm going to deep clean and organise the fridge because I can't believe how much cheese we've got in there. Let's get into the video. Here's a before shot. There's three egg cartons, one on each shelf. And there's also cheese in multiple locations as well. And then looking inside the door, we've got three shelves in the door with lots and lots of jars. So I was really keen to do this on a budget, basically because I don't like spending too much money. So I bought the egg container for $6 and then I used the small fridge container, $5. And I decided to go with the can holder, but I'm actually not going to use it for holding cans. So I just bought one of each of those and then removed the stickers. With the excess stickiness, um, what I used was the eucalyptus oil, just put it on a rag and just gave it a bit of a wipe and then it came off really easily. And I was really keen to label these containers so that we know what's in each one really clearly. So got the label maker out, labeled the egg container with oldest, for the oldest eggs to be at the front and newest at the back as well as an apples and cheese because as i said cheese is just everywhere throughout the fridge sophie my 13 month old daughter loves cheese so first off i decided to start at the bottom and remove the vegetable crisper I have a plastic bag in there and it turns out there's carrots in there I've also got some carrots behind as well as you can see there's a lot of food scraps so i used the dyson to give it a vacuum and then i use this method in the mint fragrance to give it a really good clean I had Sophie supervising me from my chair and then I went to the next shelf and just removed everything and I continued doing that shelf by shelf. Every now and then I did shut the door as the fridge just kept beeping at me. Once I'd removed all the food from the shelves, then I used the Dyson to vac up those bigger dried pieces of food that was left in the fridge, and then I started removing the shelves. I couldn't seem to remove this top shelf, so I gave it a spray and wipe while it was still in the fridge. As always, Sophie was there to help me. She decided to bring one of her favorite books, Spot Goes to the Farm, and then she just got into the fridge. I gave it a really good clean using the mint method spray and because of the mint it actually took out a lot of the bad smell and freshened the fridge up. Once I was happy with how clean it was then I moved on to cleaning each of the shelves. Starting at the bottom, I started putting the food back into the fridge, popped the apples into the apples container. As you can see, we had a lot of eggs, 26 of them, and I'm so glad I've done this because what we were actually doing was using the second oldest eggs at the moment rather than the oldest. So I'm so glad that I've got this container and we had a full dozen untouched. I put the four different cheeses into the cheese container, put that into the fridge, and then we had a couple of things that were just old and starting to get moldy, so got rid of those. And by consolidating everything together, I was able to get rid of the container. Then I moved on to the door, same thing, removed all the items, gave it a really good clean, and then popped them back again. Surprisingly, there was nothing out of date or growing mold. I'm so happy with how organized and clean it is. So there was chicken there, but Dave's actually cooking with it now. We've been really trying to put the milk at the back because that's the coldest spot. We used to put it in the door, but it's lasting so much longer when it's located at the back of the fridge. So let's do a quick before and then after. Give it a thumbs up if you're impressed. Thanks for watching guys. I hope it's inspired you to get onto your fridge. The other video you might also like is where I declutter and organize Sophie's toys. She's my 13 month old daughter. Alrighty, take care, bye.
this town while I'm slowly heading 